Hello my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with the latest in budget deck technology. And for today's deck tech, we're going to be covering our Is It Tokens deck that I call Army of Two. Okay, pause for one second everybody, does everybody remember the game Army of Two? I think this game came out for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I do remember playing that with my uh, nephew years ago. That was actually a really fun game. I don't know, maybe that's why I kind of came up with the idea of this name for the deck. Alright, sorry, back to the deck tech. Now, I know we just kind of covered a historic Brawl is a deck, but this one is actually a little bit different than the other one. With what we saw from the historic Brawl deck, we did a little hodgepodge of everything, but this one completely focuses on making a ton of tokens to overwhelm our opponent and win the game. As you can see from the stats here, and also as we post up the budget for this deck, you can see that the deck is only going to have about 13 creatures and 27 non-creature spells, mostly focusing on instants and sorceries. The mana value for the deck is actually also very, very low to the ground, so this is not only a very easy to play deck, but also it's very low on curves, so you're going to be able to go off very quickly once you stack up enough of your instants and sorceries. Now, as far as how the deck is meant to be played, here's basically what the game plan is trying to do. You're trying to get down your third path Iconoclast or your young Pyromancer out and then just go off with a ton of instant sorceries. To help support the game plan completely, we have Balmor Battle Mage Captain. This special card allows us to basically pump up our entire team with a plus one plus zero ability whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell and the all grain trample. So as you kind of configure, Balmor is a very important linchpin to the entire deck because of the trample ability it gives. Without that, a lot of our tokens sometimes just don't do enough damage to get through. Otherwise, in order to help us with that game plan, let's talk about all the instant sorceries we will be utilizing. So as far as your draw abilities, you're going to have Consider, you will have Ops, and also you will have Of One Mind. These cards just allow us to keep drawing through our deck, with Consider allowing us to Surveil to throw away stuff we don't need. Opt can also tuck those cards back into our deck, and Of One Mind, which costs three initially, but as you see, whenever we have a human creature and a non-human creature, it is two less. So it allows us to draw two cards for one mana, which is very easy to pull off in this deck. In such that Third Path Iconoclast and Young Pyromancer are humans, and when they create tokens, those tokens are non-human. So that actually triggers off with just that card alone, which is pretty sweet. As far as your removal in the deck, you're going to be utilizing copies of Fiery Impulse. This card basically does two damage to a target creature. However, if Spell Mastery is triggered by allowing two instants or sorceries in the graveyard, it does three damage instead. This is really sweet for us now that we got this added onto the Explorer format. And to support this a little bit more, we have two copies of Strangle. These are basically just slow versions of Fiery Impulse. As for protecting our game plan, you'll have a set of Spell Pierce, three copies there, and four copies of Make Disappear. Make Disappear is actually really awesome in this deck because we can take advantage of the Casualty 1 ability. If you do forget again what Casualty does, basically it just means that we can sacrifice a creature with a certain level, whatever it is. In this case, it's power one or greater because it's Casualty 1. And we do, we does copy the spell and it has new targets for the copy. This is basically Mana Leak for Arena. And it's very easy to trigger off because we will have a ton of tokens to sacrifice utilizing our two main creatures in the deck. If there's anything we can't deal with in the deck primarily we also have two copies of fading help to bounce away usually the bigger creatures or tokens that we struggle to fight our way through we will have two copies of ledger shredder we only need two because realistically we don't want to filter to our deck too much however ledger shredder also becomes a major threat on its own as you see whenever a player casts their second spell each turn ledger shredder connives connive allows us to draw a card and discard a card and if we discarded a non-land card we get a plus plus one plus one counter on the creature so once we start churning through our deck we can take advantage of ledger shredder to get rid of some of our dead draws and then we can either pump it up or we can just keep going through our action to keep making a bunch of other stuff. This is actually going to be very helpful for us to get through what we need. As far as the land base is concerned, we have a little bit of a mix. We'll have four copies of Steam Vents, seven mountains, seven islands, one copy of Den of the Bugbear, and a copy of Hall of the Storm Giants. Our creature lands are only here just to help us kind of come up with a plan B. So if your opponent try to blow us out completely, we do have then a backup plan utilizing those options for us. Now, as far as the sideboard is concerned, it really will just be dependent on whatever your matchup is. So, for example, against blue and white, you'll have Rending Volley, also sweet because it can't be countered, Soul Guy Lantern for Graveyard Hate, Disdainful Stroke for the bigger spells that you need to counter, Spell Pierce also for the lower end stuff, Aether Gust is your tempo play versus those red or green creatures out there, Obliterating Bolt just to get rid of something permanently, Mystical Disputes for, again, enemy blue decks out there. As far as the other options, you either have Crackling Drake or Telerian Terror. Personally, I would actually pick Crackling Drake because because even if this card does get blown up, you can draw a card at least when it enters the battlefield. On the other hand, Talarian Terror also protects itself with its Ward 2 ability. So this one's actually going to come down to personal preference. I would say pick
pick two copies of which either the one you feel is better for you or whatever is going on currently in the meta. But otherwise, that's mostly the deck for you. My only final tips I just want to really give you for the deck is you obviously want to try to get out these cards as soon as possible, but be careful because if you anticipate your opponent's got removal, I would say maybe wait until turn three so that way you have your land down and also have a protection spell like Spell Pierce to help you get through. But otherwise, that's basically it for us. But is this deck capable of getting us to victory? Well, there's only one way to find out. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content so you don't miss out on any of the gameplay, booster pack openings, deck decks, and so much more. Okay, everybody, so here we go. We're playing our Is It Tokens deck, our Army of Two. And ooh, this is actually a really sweet hand right here. So we got everything we need. So I think we might be able to go off here if everything just lines up perfectly. So let's go ahead and keep and see what happens. Okay, so first off, Steam Man's tapped and pass. Okay, so we do have both of our token enablers and we do have Balmore to make everything huge. Our opponent is playing, oh, okay, so there's a giant mono red aggro. All right, so we might have to deal with a lot of removal here, but let's see if we can still try to find our way through this. All the giants, we will play third path. I anticipate that this is gonna get blown up, but that's okay, everybody. We're gonna just have to, we have to force them to start using up their spells. Base Sakazan. 19. Two critics. No surprise there. Okay, so let's see. Young Pyromancer. And we'll pass. The Ashino Pyromancer. This for two. the Pyromancer. I'm sorry, bounce the... bounce the Swiss Spear. <laughs> Names are hard, everybody. Okay, so let's see. Balmore. Go swinging over with our single little token. On a blocks. Okay. Sure, they can do that. Fiery Impulse will keep that. Take out the Viashino, which is great. So we're in a decent spot right now, as long as they don't have too much of a rule. Opponent takes out our enabler, but that's okay, everybody. Alright, we got another young Pyromancer. Great. Fiery Impulse. Taking out their etching. There go swinging. We're down to 17. I still got a lot of cards in hand. What are they holding back? They only have two lands. Do they have a lot of like triggers they have to wait for? Monastery Swiss Root back down again. Second one. Okay, sure. We'll double lock one. Because we can make a ton of tokens. Okay, alright. We're doing good here, everybody. Consider. Make some more tokens. Uh, actually, we don't need a th another enabler. Okay, Spell Pierce is perfect here. We're doing it! The Ashido Pyromancer. We will counterspell that. Make more tokens. And I think our opponent might be done here. Alright, so I guess we'll just play it. Third Path Iconoclast, everybody. Do they actually block? A two. Oh, this is beautiful, everybody. This is exactly what you want the deck to do. Oh, this is just too perfect, everybody. Okay. Spell Pierce. And I think that's game. Do you concede, opponent? Alright, big swing here. And this is it. That's game. And that's how you do it, everybody. Yes, I know our opponent did stumble a little bit, but I will take that win. So, not too bad. That's exactly how you want the deck to go off. Okay, everybody, so here we go. We're playing our Is It Tokens Army of Two deck on a budget. And we've got with us, okay, we got a Young Pyromancer and an Op. Not much, because we're very land heavy, but let's keep this and see if we can draw into some more action. 
Okay, so we're gonna put down our hull. Actually, we'll put down the steam vents first. They're tapped. So we're gonna hopefully see if we can get some more action here. Okay, pathway. I didn't pay anything interesting. Okay, okay, that's fine. So, hull the storm giants. Young Pyromancer. If they're playing Selesnia colors, that means removal might be at a minimum. So that does give us an advantage to build our army. Another pathway land. All right. Bishop of Wings. Oh, okay. So it's angels. Okay. That's fine. We're going to try to find a way to get around this. So let's opt. Make a token. Another opt is pretty good here. We're going to have to wait for a moment. So we'll pass. Can we get past angels? The Seiju. Portable hole. Well, that's going to be kind of annoying, but that's okay. Unfortunately, our spell pierce doesn't get through that, so we're just going to try to see if we can make some more tokens here and try to go off. Okay, so we don't need steam vents. Draw a card of one line. Well, that doesn't really help us right now. Giada. Make some life. There you go, swinging. No blocks. Strangled is actually not too shabby here, so let's actually strangle. Get rid of Giada. Make spirits. We're gonna unfortunately have to pass here. I honestly, I honestly don't want to pass here, but we can't really make the most of Unwon Mind, and also we need to keep mana up for if they have a collected company. Another vision wings. That's annoying, but that's okay. Okay, so we got another young pyromancer, which is great. Young Pyromancer. Right, turn on of one mine. Make tokens again. Draw some cards. Okay, great. We also have the third path Iconoclast. Put that down. No attacks. But can we go wide and far enough before we can angels blow us out? That's the question. Skyclave Apparition. And I absolutely hate this card, but you guys have already seen enough of my videos, you're aware of this. <laughs> so it's fine. We'll get through this. I'm gonna go swinging. No block still. We still have time. Land? Okay. So let's see. Let's consider... Make another token. Throw away the land. We don't want to keep getting flooded out here. Okay, Ledger Shredder's not too shabby. Ledger Shredder. Steam vents tapped. Still no attacks. At the very least, Ledger Shredder can now provide us with a flying blocker. Spyclave Apparition again. Absolutely disgusting. So there goes our Ledger Shredder. Lovely. <laughs> there goes swinging still. Balmor is great here. We're gonna have to wait though. So we need a couple more spells that we can chain off and then maybe we can go off here. Still no attacks. Are you serious? It's fine. We'll, we'll find a way through this. I can't believe that, though. Three Skyclave Apparitions back to back to back. <laughs> Our opponent is very lucky here. We will Fiery Impulse. The token. That's the only thing that's slowing us down. No attacks. We'll pass. Okay. Other planes. There's the Collected Company. Here we go. Spell Pierce. Okay, so that buys us time. We're out of cards. Okay, consider is nice here. So let's see how do we do this. Consider. Make another token. Opt. That's not bad. Opt. More tokens. Of one mind. That's also good. I guess we're just gonna start spell slinging here. Draw more cards, and okay. We don't need more lands, but that's fine. We have enough tokens to fight our way through this. We just need a Balmor now to go off. Tyler's Reconstruction. Well, I haven't seen anybody play this card yet. Youthful Valkyries. Annoying, but... Oh boy. Can we fight our way through this still? Okay, Fiery Impulse. All the Storm Giants turning on. Go swinging with our big giant. Let it through. That's fine. Okay, so at the very least, the Hall of the Storm Giants is going to have to be our alternate plan here to get through this. Ooh, Fiery Impulse does not hit. Three. 
And we're in serious trouble now. Get the Valkyrie again. And I think this might be game for us for game one. Okay. So I don't like to do this, everybody, but I'm going to concede right here because we're not going to be able to fight through all this with the uh, removal that we have. Okay, so what do we cut now to get to our second game? So this time around, we're definitely going to have to bring in Rending Volley. That's what this is for. Obliterating Bolts. We will Crackling Drake for sure. I think Drop Spell Pierce here is probably going to be best. We still want to try to keep most of our removal. Maybe drop a Balmor and maybe trim Third Path and Young Pyromancer. I think that might do it. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So we've got the Rending Volley, which is great. Crackling Drake. This is actually a really solid hand. Let's keep this and see if we just keep our opponent's creatures off the field while we build up our defenses. It's defense. So if we get all of our lands out, Crackling Drake will come down without any issues. Because I don't think they have... That's, let's play Young Pyromancer. Our biggest issue we're going to have to deal with is going to be those Skyclaves. That's our biggest thing that shuts us all down. So we're going to hopefully try to get rid of around that. Okay, Fiery Impulse takes care of this. So this is nice. Ledger Shredder. Fiery Impulse. Make a token. Knife. Okay, we want to keep this. We're going to throw away the land, unfortunately. It's okay. Go swinging. Down to 18. Two. Useful Valkyrie. Portable hole. Knife. Let's see. What do we do? I think we throw away Fading Hope. We'll probably get rid of the Ledger Shredder. Yep. That's predictable. Okay, so. Of one mind. Make a token, draw two cards. We got another Ledger Shredder, which is great. No Pyromancer. Number two. No attacks. We have to keep the Rending Volley up just a little bit longer. Righteous Valkyrie. And that's what we have it for. We have to deal with that Righteous Valkyrie now. So, Ledger Shredder. Rending Volley. Make a bunch of tokens. Draw a card. We will throw away the Opt. No attack still. It is honestly annoying when we don't have Balmor, because you can see right here, our tokens go wide, but we don't have enough power to get through angels. That's okay, we're gonna try to see if we can try to fight our way through this. If we get another land, though, we can actually get Crackling Drake out, too. Ooh, okay. Well, this is perfect. Crackling Drake? <laughs> that kind of shuts down the plan. We have to draw a card off of that. We got our Make Disappear, which is excellent. Okay, so now the second plan is we just need to start pumping up Crackling Drake just to fight through the angels. We just need to start picking them off one by one. Portable hole. Ledger Shredder now goes bye-bye, but that's fine. Splendid Angel. That might be an issue for us. Okay, third path Iconoclast is not bad, so... Strangle. It's this. We need to opt. Make more tokens. We are going off here, which is great. Okay, so here's how we do this. Swing with our tokens and see what they do. Down to 18. We'll pass. We gotta start finding a way to just fight through some damage here. Okay. We will casualty this. Sack token. We can't afford to let them gain any more life. Alright, so we keep that off the field. Crackling Drake keeps getting bigger. I mean, we're holding our own. Third path of Counterclass. Okay, now we're going to really go wide here. Opt. Alright, our deck's doing stuff. Ooh, up one mine. That's nice. That'll be great for next turn. Alright, so this is going to be a little risky here, but we're going to have to definitely swing. And I'm just going to try to force our opponent to just start chump blocking here. Come on, opponent. Block with that Righteous Valkyrie. You know you want to. Fiery Impulse one more time. Make a ton of tokens. There we go. 
There we go, everybody. We did it. We got through there. Not too shabby, right? Okay, so what do we do for the next round? Do we kind of keep everything as is? I think everything should be fine. I don't think we need to change anything, so let's just keep this and just run it back. Okay, everybody, so this is round three, so let's see. Can we pull this off here? We have the strangle, which is great for the early game, but it's going to be also kind of tricky because we don't have enough lands to start doing our thing, so I think we might have to mulligan here. Okay, this is not ideal, but we do need some card draw, so we're going to keep this against my better judgment here. Do not make fun of me in the comments, everybody. Okay, so... Pay the two. Pass. Okay, there's another land. Fish with wings. Fading hope that. Put away the island. Okay, okay Balmore's not bad. It doesn't do much for us now, so we're going to have to wait for a moment. We need to draw into action first. Land. Fish with wings. We have to consider. Go away the mountain. Heart. Okay, rending volley's great. Alright, we got rid of at least that. Ooh, great. We got our young pyromancer. Excellent. Island. All right, we pass. Okay, so we have our pieces now, everybody. So we just need to find a way to go off here. Portable hole. <sighs> Annoying, but it's fine, everybody. It's fine. We'll make our way through this. Okay, put down Balmore so we can still keep pressure on our opponent. Okay, top land. Okay, they pass. Alright, ooh, we got Fiery Impulse, which is great here. Let's go swinging and see what happens. Do you have the Collected Company? You don't. Interesting. Oh, there it was. Alright, let's try. See if we're lucky here. Oh, do we keep this? Do we keep this on the stack? Ugh, I think we should. Okay. Oh boy. Well, we miscalculated here, everybody. We get rid of Giada. We do some damage. Young Pyromancer. Okay, so they're down to... Oh wow, they actually play Nykthos too, huh? Everybody plays Nykthos. Oh, good lord. Okay, let's reconstruction. Oh wow, that was actually a really good hit by our opponent. Okay, I think we might not win this one anymore. Oh boy. Well, this kind of sucks. Oh jeez. Okay, we're down to three. And it made another angel. Rending volley is nice, but it's a little too late. So I'm just gonna play this, see how well we can make this work. Opt. Disappear back to the bottom. Fire impulse again. I mean, we can rending volley. I. No, there's not really anything we can rending volley. <laughs> well, this stinks. That's all we can do, everybody. I mean, you can see right here, the deck does go off, but sadly enough, it's just not enough for us versus Angels. Angels is just too tough of a mash. But that's okay, everybody. You kind of at least saw from one game there how powerful the deck is capable of going off. And there you have it, everybody. So that was our Army of Two slash Is It Tokens deck. Is this something you would actually play on a budget? Now, to be honest with you, I wanted to just say again, this deck was actually not too shabby, but there were a couple of awkward moments with it. Being that we are a budget deck, we will have moments where we're going to struggle on the lands. So my only suggestion to you is if you're interested in upgrading this, I actually wouldn't really change anything in the main deck at all. All of your main cards work perfectly fine. It's just you definitely want to upgrade into a much more consistent mana base to ensure that you can cast what you need to. I can assure you, however, that whether you do want to play this with just as is, it will work perfectly fine. 
I wouldn't even go so far as to even change much in the sideboard, only adjust based upon what the meta is doing. I would honestly think we might do better off adding in a couple more cards to hate on green because that is a big of issue right now. But otherwise, if you are interested in this style of deck, as always, to check the details below to check for the link so that way you can just import this into Arena and have fun with it yourself. And the only other thing I'm just going to leave you with is if you are interested in token strategies where, again, you go wide and you go big, or sometimes you might be able to just go off with a bunch of spell slinging, give this deck a try, and I assure you, you will not be disappointed. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!